following is a presentation of the Horseman Wrestling Association. It is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without the HWA's consent is prohibited. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the premiere of Season 6 of HWA Right in the Teeth. Tonight you'll see Keys Carranza defend the manager's championship against Mr. Fugu and the bandit takes on Spooge for the television title. You'll also see a three-way battle of the Giants. El Loco and Triple V will try to put each other through a table and much more. It's gonna feel like a pair of vice grips on the tape. Don't go anywhere! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hershey Squirt Arena here in Hershey, Pennsylvania for the kickoff of Season 6, and it's going to be a good one. we got a lot going on here this uh, this season. we got the, the tunes coming back, uh, for one thing, uh, eventually, as soon as I uh, get up to speed on the animation program. But anyway, coming down right now is the Snowman, and he's uh, part, part of this triple threat match. It is uh, the Katungi, Bob Zombie, and Snowman. But when do we see Snowman? Well, we saw him in the Inner Horseman title match at McMadness. He, uh, not so well for him. Things didn't go too well, so he's looking to take a pounding out on somebody. But he performed a snow cone on Corporal Punishment, but was unable to break him. Just uh, Corporal Punishment, as tough as you please on that. Uh, have a look at it. He's got him. I don't know how much more the... Uh, I don't know how much longer he can hold on. Right now flailing about the ropes right there. If he can grab a hold of that rope, he's got to make the break. But no, he's just hanging tough. And once again, digging deep and grabbing those arms and pulling them away. And well, I, I cannot believe, I cannot believe the effort by both of these men. That's him, folks. Ice Ice Baby, it is the snowman. And uh, he is no longer the Inner Horseman title champion, but I'm sure he's going to be up for a championship. He's still in the power rankings, by the way. Uh, just got bumped down to nine, so we'll look for him coming up. Kind of coming down right now is Bob Zombie. And uh, he's good. Like I said, this is, a, this is a big triple threat match. Three huge guys. And uh, what do we see? Well, we saw him in the exhibition match. Uh, he received, oh, okay. He received the horror of horror from Hiram Lipschitz. Hiram took him to town. Uh, he was able to kick out after two, but eventually lost, uh, was pinned by Hiram. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have a look at what he didn't hit with the, the pin that didn't occur. <laughs> so let's have a look at that. And now punch, but no, blocking away. Blocking away and now punch to him. And from the back, oh, here it comes. Here it comes the first move from him. The horror of horrors. And he turns him around and block. But down he goes. And up in, there's one. There's two. Oh, just barely kicking out there. That was a more of a count than I thought he had there. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Zombie, the lumbering, decaying, and stenching. Yes, of course, we smell that, uh, that flesh rot. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, him or the, the bodily functions, but oh, Jesus. Anyway, coming on right now, our third participant in this uh, tag team match, it is Katungi. And we saw him, well, we saw him in a false Count Anywhere match. It was uh, kind of a false Count Anywhere match. Let me have a sip here. My voice has been out of, out of practice, so I gotta practice getting gravelly again. But uh, we saw him perform the Jungle Judgment, nailed down uh, with an elbow drop, and pinned Redneck Rufus for the victory. Uh, that, that was inside the ring. There was an attempt, a pin attempt outside the ring, just to make, just so you know, uh, that that was a false gun anywhere match. But let's go ahead and have a look at this. And now, grabbing. Oh, here it comes. Here comes another. Oh, it's another Jungle Judgment. And I don't know if that's going to do it, because Ray Redneck was starting to look fresh, but no, he's going to uh, follow it up with an elbow drop. Katungi now. Katungi does, does go down. <laughs> and now, pin, there's one. There's two. There's three. Katungi with the win here inside the ring, nonetheless. Katungi, ladies and gentlemen, big jungle man, wants to beat on some other people. <laughs> I don't care if your skin's white or green. <laughs> and they both, oh, okay, we're, we're, we're both guys starting in the same corner. What the hell? Okay, apparently they had was an argument. Oh, there's a, a kick flip right off the bat. And Bob Zombie's going to grab Snowman. Apparently they were confused at which corner they were supposed to be in. But now coming in, oh, a double uh, shot, taking both of them out. Oh, and uh, Bob Zombie returns the shot and takes Katungi down. And now, oh, clothesline from uh, Snowman on Bob Zombie. Snowman now. 
Figuring out who he wants to attack. I guess he's staring at Bob, uh, but he's uh, not jumping on him. Now, now he finally grabs him and gets him a whip suplex. And Katungi grabbing it there. Oh, comes in with a clothesline to the back of the head. I'm not sure that connected fist flesh to flesh, but uh, let's go ahead and say it did. And now it seems to be double teaming going on on, on, the, uh, on the snowman here. And now with that collarbone clutch. Bob Zombie not really doing anything, just letting Katungi have his way. Now, now Bob Zombie's grabbing him. Is he going to have a pickup? Is it going to be a pickup powerbomb? That's slamming him on down. He's down, folks. And Bob Zombie's still not, not even focused on Katungi. Just going right after Snowman. Apparently, he's, uh, I don't know if he has some sort of, uh, now a choke. Not just choking the life out of him there. It's Katungi. And get, but Jesus Christ, and now Bob's, uh, Bob's stomping on the, on the Snowman. I don't know what these two are going after each other. Or what the deal is. Now a pin. And Bob, Bob's just standing there. It's blood in the pin. There's one. What the hell? Bob, you, Bob should have been breaking this up. It's like a double team here. And you had a load. He's now driving it home with another power bomb and taking, taking Snowman down. And now Katungi just sitting back and watching it happen. What is this? Is it, have they teamed up or something like this? Is, I don't know. There's a pin. There's one. Katungi not doing anything. There's two and he kicks out. And now Katungi right on top of him. Jesus, what is this? A conspiracy uh, against Snowman? They're just like double teaming them here. They're not even attacking each other. It's not a triple threat match. You guys got to fight each other too. And now punch to the back. And now grabbing Snowman and just driving him down. Folks, I don't know what's going on here. This is this is ridiculous. These two must have a, uh, made a deal backstage. I don't know if CSC and uh, the Ass Clown Coven. But now there was, a, there was going to be a pin, but uh, kind of I don't know if he was out of place or something. But now stop it on the head, folks. This this is this is not a, a, three, a triple threat match. This cannot be picked up again. And now sit down, power bomb on on, on, on Snowman. Now the Katungi grabbing him. Yeah, this, this, they're just not going after each other, folks. There had to be some kind of deal made. This is a conspiracy. It's got to be a conspiracy with the conspiring against. Oh, good lord! It's just, just, because uh, Bob was grabbing him, clothesline from behind. Now chest choking him again. And now, uh, folks, all of a sudden, this is a handicap match. That's all I can say. There's one. There's oh, the dog almost kicks out before the second count. And now, Jesus Christ, Katungi all over him again. Folks, I don't, I don't know what the snowman's thinking right now. He's got to be thinking, I'm in fucking trouble right now with these two monsters beating on me. And he's groggy. He's certainly groggy. Now picked up and boom. Oh, oh, it's going to be a tribal tripletta as Bob stands by just looking at him. I wonder why. There has to be something, some, some sort of teammate uh, d d deal made back here. It's a coup, I think. It's, it's a, well, it's spelled coop. I don't know. It's like a chicken coop, but it's a chicken coop. A chicken coop? That'd be interesting. Rooster takeover. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just babbling. Okay, now grabbing the, grabbing the back of the head and just pinning them against. Uh, still Bob, no, not punch from Katungi. Double teaming them. And folks, <laughs> this was supposed to be a triple threat match. And all we see is these two guys. Uh, I mean, I know Chaz and Keys are, are, are good friends, uh, aside from when they have to, to team or have to go up against each other. Uh, but they, they still have uh, they're still camaraderie and, uh, and a kinship. But uh, this is ridiculous here. This, uh, they have just absolutely teamed up and pounded on Snowman. And, uh, just, uh, Snowman wasn't humiliated enough, losing his uh, tag title to, to Chaz and the uh, uh, Corporal Punishment. And now Bob going up. Oh, big elbow drop <laughs> coming down on Snowman. And Bob now. Bob with a now flag super macho elbow. And Katungi in a stance now. Goodness. Jesus Christ. Come on. Ring the bell. Come on, this is ridiculous. You, you got to play fair there. There's a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, he got kicks out again. I'm just digging deep for this. I don't know. Rue. Rue, what are you doing? I mean, you got to. I mean, technically, they don't have to beat on each other. But there's clearly something, some sinister plot here. Uh, some some d uh, demented motive uh, behind this this attack. And now grabbing the head, just grinding it, grinding the eyes. And you can't even see him because he just eclipses everything. But now Bud finally taking him out. And Bob, Bob, see Bob right on top of Snowman. And a big uh, whirly bird. Not a whirly bird, but a, a belly to back suplex. And now stop, God, stop it, stop it hard with that big calloused foot. And now choking again. Jesus, God. Uh, 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 folks, I don't know. This this, this is ridiculous here. Uh, this is, I mean, it's a hell of a way to start on season six. I'll get great at that. But uh, this is absolutely uh, insane. Now, grab it. Oh, grabbing the eyes. Oh, here it comes. And stop. Oh, my God. He, he went right through Katungi. They, uh, they're partners so much that the laws of physics don't even apply. <laughs> now, Pan, there's one. There's two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up again. Snowman not done. Snowman taking deep. And now pulling our arm down. And slamming Bob out to finally a move. But the Snowman gets to get off a move. And he's just picking Bob up. He got Katungi right behind him. Katungi taking Oh, Katungi was biting his time. And before he can uh, put on the, that freezer burn. It's just a good, more double attacks here. As he's getting stomped. Oh, Jim, Bob almost got a piece of that. Now Bob grabbing. Uh-oh. Grabbing the oh, God, stomping the head. Trying to break him bloodied open. 
He, he, he beaten, bruised, and bloody, and now a big knee coming right into the face. And Katongi now with a shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. But <laughs> Bob's going to say, I'm not done with him. Yeah. Well, you'll get your turn. Just wait. And now there was a kind of collision there. And now a headbutt. And taking, taking st Snowman over. Snowman just wobbly. I don't even know how he's on his feet. At driving into the ropes. At pounding that spine. That spine pounding by D Katongi. And now good, we got uh, Bob picking him up again. <laughs> now Katungi says, I'm taking over. These two guys are, are not against each other, obviously, but uh, they're not working too well together uh, on that side either. And now, <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was supposed to be a boy yang but it kind of, I was smiling at the time. I don't know what the hell. Uh, but uh, there was a shockwave coming up the arm. And now Katungi. Katongi again. Oh, now it looks like uh, Bob's going to take him. Oh, take him on the piggyback uh, suplex, I would call that. Piggyback backdrop. Piggyback drop. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Oh, it hits a knee. Bust on the knee. And what the, <laughs> what the hell is Katungi doing? He's going, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 bad. <laughs> now, as they in the stance, but now Bob's not going to get a, stance to, a chance to do anything in the stance. Katungi taking over. Now Bob picking Snowman back up. And more punches. But here's a, here's an eye gouging. Oh, here comes your Jesus God. That's a brain scrambler again. And a pin. As Katungi just stares down. There's one. There's two. Oh, we can't see shoulder up again. Snowman digging deeper than I've ever seen any wrestler dig. You're talking about serious. He was in a serious match with that inner horseman title. But uh, he is a serious wrestler now. Another tribal triple A coming his way. There's number two right there. We had number one. And, of course, when you finish one, two, spins him around. It gets him up for that big suplex. Draw down number three. Uh, he's, just a, he's just a puddle right now, folks. He is a walking puddle. And now he gets flipped over. And now Bob great in, great in the jaw. He's trying to break his jaw like a nutcracker or a cretnacker, whatever you, however you want to say it. And uh, I don't know if he's going to submit. Uh, he's not one to submit, folks. And no matter how, how much pain, just slams his face back down. Good God almighty. Yes, folks, this isn't, if you might be watching this, say, hey, this is supposed to be a, a triple threat match. I said the same thing, and now picked up and powerbombed again. Somehow, the, the Snowman is just hanging on. And now, in a <laughs> Katungi, once again, uh, his, his stance is aborted. <laughs> and now, grabbing that, don't, don't get me started on that topic. And now, going to the end of the ropes, and now punches. Uh, the, the great, oh, he's, he's biting him. He's trying to bite his head open, and it gets to the soft brains inside. The, the brain's getting softer every move he makes. Now stop it, stop it on the ass as, as Katungi tries once again to get in the stance. And now just a pin. There's one. This has got to be it. There's two. There's three. Katungi. Oh, Jesus God. You had to put their names up together. That, so, well, that takes all the doubt away from it. This certainly was a handicap match. It was planned. Had to be planned by Chaz and Keys backstage. Uh, just, <laughs> poor Snowman. Poor Joe didn't know what the hell was going on. He's backstage going, what the hell is this? He's throwing furniture and stuff around. At least I think so. I think I heard it up here. But right there, you see, uh, getting dragged out. Folks, this, 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 this was not a match. This was just an assassination. There was one. There was two. And just, oh, barely kicking out. He only could kick out so many times. Right here, another brain scrambler. Oh, my God. That big foot coming across the side of your face and now a pin once again that he was able to get out look how dazed he is but funny just got kind of a body reflex flipping out of it and of course the travel triple ending with that and bob bob with a stomp but then they're trying to but just bite his brain brains and fling <laughs> i still can't get that right i've not done that right tonight but right there and look at them standing together standing together they're gonna congratulate, congratulate each other oh yo, jesus god yes oh my god Folks, folks, we're starting this off on a very dark note. These two guys and the crowd booing. The crowd does not like this. crowd does not like the development, uh, the, the unfairness, the cheating. Well, not cheating. It's, it's just a conspiracy, which is kind of cheating, I guess, if you, if you really think about it. But, uh, yeah, and so those two teamed up here. A uh, surprise team match, uh, the handicap match. But uh, we're going to cut away when we come back. Hopefully we'll have a little more dignity here or something. We're going to have an exhibition match between Gluteus Maximus and Bones McIntyre. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and never turn your back against these two. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hershey, PA at the Hershey Scorch Stadium. Did I not say that? I don't think I said that before, but that's where we are uh, in Hershey. If you're in Hershey, by the way, go see the Bears. I love them. The hockey team. A little, it's a minor league hockey team. I think they're the Flyers. Uh, well, I don't like the Flyers, but the Bears are really cool. So, coming down right now, it is the, the, uh, the Roman gladiator himself, Gluteus Maximus. 
What a big ass. <laughs> That's basically what that means. The, the large buttocks. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see under the under there, but I don't think I want to see anyway. Anyway, we saw an M&A submission match where he received a camel clutch by a loco. He was able to break free and continue fighting, but eventually he succumbed or succumbed, if you will, to the uh, it was the uh, the muy caliente, yes, uh, in that submission match. But uh, he was able to break out of one. Have a look at it. He's just aerial and now stomping away on Gluteus and setting Gluteus. Ariel Sharon, who the fuck is that? Anyway, I heard the name. I, I know the name. I just don't know who the hell it is. Right now, he, he might be trying to get a submission, but no, it's not going to work. He's, uh, he's got too much energy still, and now, plump, he's going to go flopping on his face. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> get the, the Muhammad Ali thing going on there. <laughs> get ready for his match. And is he wearing mascara? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, freaky guys. Anyway, oh, here comes the tune I love. It is Shake a Bone by Son of Dave. Look at that song up. That was on the, uh, the Breaking Bad soundtrack. Well, that wasn't really a soundtrack, but it was on, definitely on the on the show. And he's accompanied, of course, by Aaron Varhola. Uh, the, the, the good guy, I guess he, he claims, claims to be right now. I haven't seen uh, the, the, the normal bad guy stuff from him. Uh, not a lot of punching referees and anything like that. So uh, I guess that's a good turn. Uh, uh, you would think uh, maybe he's got. Yeah, of course, you can't have all bad guys. You can't have, be just loaded with heels all over the place. You gotta have some blend. It's gotta. It's gotta be bipartisan. Bi 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 yeah, that's right. Anyway, let's uh, quickly uh, the exhibition match. Oh fuck it, I missed it. Have a look anyway. Uh, anyway, going off, and now comes oh go with a big toss up and catches him right in the arm bar, and now working that face. Now it, he might be able to give him up. He's got that arm tied behind. He's got to feel the stretching and the pain in the chest and the neck area. That band is holding on. The crowd likes it. They're cheering it on. And now, oh, he has to roll out of it. But now he's going to go for a pin here. See if he wore him out enough. There's one. There's two. There's three. Bones McIntyre with a victory there. Okay. That's a, sorry. We're, we're behind the times here. Uh, he, that was uh, the Bones McIntyre giving a, a toss and catch crossface to Bandit, followed by a pin for the victory. So, okay. A little better late than never. Now, oh, a little grappling here. In the corner, Gluteus. And uh, they're going to have to break him up. A little good chance for dirtiness here and the clean break. Very nice. All right. Oh, God. That didn't last long. Clean break. But, uh, yeah, so you got, oh, God, drop kick right into that corner by Gluteus. Now, we, now we've heard that, uh, if you heard of the podcast, we were talking about how uh, the Admiral has been training, has been putting him into extra training. He just hasn't been doing that well. Uh, he needed the confidence boost. He did uh, had a special training regime for him. So we're going to have to see if that uh, does the trick for him. Normally he's pinned in about three minutes, so uh, and if he can hold on past that, we'll have to say it's a it's a good investment. But now just getting stomped away by Bones, Bones loosening up the shoulder and now popping away at at, uh, at Gluteus. Is it Gluteus? Or do I should I call him Gluteus or Maximus? I can't call him Max, uh, you know, because uh, Max is already taken. I'll call him Glute. There you go. Oh, big uh, big jumping scissor throw there by the, by the Glute, the Glute. And now a big flip, <laughs> backward flip on the, the flip smash. That flip, flip splash, uh, splash, 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 crash, smash, it's all good. Now with a backdrop by Bones, coming in, and punch, oh, kick in the back. Now that, remember the folks, that is an armor that he's wearing. There's no protective, real protective value in there. It's just, uh, it's well-shaped spandex, I think, really. Uh, there's, there's a lot of spandex in the HWA, and some of it's pretty good on the women. And that uh, the guys, oh, Jesus. And Kelly, boom. Yeah, you know what? CR doesn't. CR is always making jokes about how she cheeseburger. She's a chunky woman, and I love it. All right, I love me a big woman. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. Now, oh, here it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he goes. Blah, 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 bump. <laughs> down on his face. Face first down there. And now a pin. Oh, pin by Boons. Boons, one. <laughs> Boons, a full of 50 men. <laughs> Lars strewn about his lair. Little Monty Python holy grail for you. Now a kick to the, kick to the back. And a stomp. Flipping, flipping. Uh, gluteus. Gluteus. Glutes. Take it, and now, oh, wow, if a spin around suplex, uh, upside down suplex, St. Peter suplex, might call that. Now stomp to the back. And I, uh, oh, collarbone clutch. I've noticed that I'm, I'm talking more and I'm not stammering so much. As, uh, as far as that, when I like, go away and take a vacation uh, after a pay per view and come back, I'm normally just a, a train wreck. But I'm doing pretty good tonight, don't you think? If you think so, comment. Yeah, give us a comment. We haven't had a, like two comments since we're, I've been on the air four fucking years and no comments. Come on, people, pick it up. And now stomp. On uh, the glute. Now we got well, we got some comments over at the Facebook page, but uh, yeah, if you check out HWA community, you can go over. The, oh, here comes! Oh, this is gonna be oh, this the, 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 the spine buster. It's a, no, it's not a spine buster. What is that called? That's the uh, 
It's nothing. He's, he has the craniotomy. Oh, the spinal tap. That's right. I see. I got it. It count. Yeah, I just started talking about that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Are you on the mic? Are you saying anything? No, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Now we'll stop. Then we fire you. Oh, no, union. No, get the fuck out of with the union. Fucking union. You know what? <laughs> my, my view on that is, if you don't like your job, quit and hide, find something else. And now another spinal tap. That's a job for him to do right there. He'll give you a spinal tap and a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, and kicking out. All right. So he's toughened up a little bit there. You can see Gluteus. He would have been pinned right there. But uh, hanging in. And now... Has him up there, and it's going to be, oh, the neck popper. Pop, 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 pop. More spinal action here. Uh, higher up on the neck. And pop, 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 pop. It continues. I still got to get that popcorn sound. <laughs> I got, I, we got two more seasons to get that popcorn sound. At least, at least for the final one. Mm. At least for that Halloween hellabilly pay for you. We got to have it in there. And now, oh, they're taking over the shoulders of uh, Bones. And Bones, boom! Bones with a flop. Uh, back drop, drop, sloop, sloop, flop. <laughs> I don't, know what to, I don't know what to call it. I just uh, make up syllables. I, I shove syllables together. I'm, I'm hooked on phonics. Now another pin. There's one. There's two. And it kicks out again. Oh, great, great God. It's a uh, great, great gobs of goose, greasy, grimy gopher guts. <laughs> Isn't that a song? This song is some, this some fourth grade thing. And now, oh, look at this. Wow, hurricanrana. Great hurricanrana by, by Gluteus there. And Bones taking back a little bit. Bones in pain a little bit. I think he landed, landed on his keys or something. No, not, not. He didn't land on me. On his key, car keys. With an S. There, thank you. All right, now he's grabbing it and slamming it down. And now, going for a pin here. Oh, there's one. Oh, no, not, not nearly worn down enough. Bones still has a, a lot of fight left. But uh, things are uh, definitely things are looking up for the Adam, Admiral's fleet here. Uh, at least uh, on this part. We'll have to see if Booger Dude uh, goes through the same training. Might might wear him, might uh, do, him go, do him well. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> this is long matches here. My jaw's falling asleep. And now picked up on the, oh, what's this going to be? Oh, takes the, takes the legs over. And, oh, pops him in the mask. What's it going to be? Oh, I see a superplex coming up. Oh, this is going to be big. Uh, two big guys. Here we go. It's got it. Ah, boom, down he goes. Oh, grace, little money. Shook the goddamn the booth up here. Almost my drink almost fell over. My fruit, my uh, Taco Bell fruit punch. <laughs> I know those are two words or, or two phrases that aren't supposed to go together. But uh, and now, oh, taking him up again. He, he likes the high flying stuff here. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna wear himself out doing this. But if he keeps it up, it's uh, oh now just going up. What's this gonna be? It's gonna be a looks like a scissor. Yes, it is. Oh my god, the scissor throw, dropping him right on his head from up on the second thumb, top turn buckle. Now grabbing again. Not going for a pin here. Might be a mistake. He's made this mistake before. But now whipping bones off the ropes and a big pickup drop. And he grabs that with the claw right on that mask, dr dragging that mask. And he's the strength of the hands. The, the, the mask has some support, but when he caves it in like that, it just works against you. And he might—I don't know if he's going to give up. He's, uh, he's not going to let him go. And now he finally has to shove him down. The referee says, "Come on, you got to break." He's not giving. <laughs> I guess they do that because it's more exciting. <laughs> more, more, yes, it is awesome, folks. Thank you. Uh, you definitely cheers for uh, Gluteus. He's coming around. And there goes, whoa, what is that? Oh, we're spinning around. DDT. That the guy? I'm terribly impressed right now. Terribly impressed? I'm extremely impressed right now by Gluteus. Now Gluteus whipping bones. Uh, Aaron can't look. He's like, oh, my God. What's happening to my guy? What happened to Gluteus? <laughs> he's, a, he's a monster now. and taking him up on the turnbuckle again. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh, he's putting the legs there. This could be another superplex coming in, popping him. And they go up all top rope. Here it is again. Oh, my God. Let's go into the ring. <laughs> Going outside the ring. Here it comes. Up. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Feel free to spell that in the comments if you, if you want to attempt. Uh, I'll, I'll take any spelling. But now picked up again. Oh, my God. Oh, kick to the shoulder. But that didn't seem to do much. <laughs> now Bones. Bones taking, a, taking an opportunity here and dropping him on his face. And Bones saying, yeah, yeah, it's me. Bones now. Oh, Bones going for a kick a little late there. Ludus rolls out and now clothesline. And another clothesline coming. And he's going to try to return a clothesline, but it's going to miss. And a flying clothesline by Bones plants him firmly into the into the mat. But doesn't go for a pin. Once again, more mistakes by these wrestlers. you got to take the opportunity. And now working the arm around. You're going to try to twist that uh, trape the trapezius? I don't know. And now punches. Uh, the tricep is definitely involved in there somewhere. Trapezius? I don't know what the hell it is. I don't remember. Oh, my God. Look at that move. Just grabbing him. It's like a reverse DDT slamming his head on down. Picked up again. Huh. Uh, my lungs are my lungs need picked up. They're on the floor. And now going into the corner. Let's this again. Oh, rolling away. 
And we're going to have some high flying stuff. What is this? Oh, a big flipping splash of uh, uh, just, a, just a one and a half gainer there. Or one of the one, one? I don't know, one and a half. So let's call it that. And now going to the corner again. Bones getting bit, beaten pillow to post, but finally comes in with an elbow and breaks it up and goes for a clothesline, but misses. And now another another scissor throw by that. He's good with those scissor throws. He must have really worked on his on his leg tone and uh, just uh, able to throw throw people around at, at, at ease with ease. Yes, with the greatest of ease. No, not the trapeze. Oh, it throws them. Yeah, I like the girls in the trapeze outfits too, by the way. <laughs> I'll have you know. They're up high. You can see right up the crotch too. It's just, oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that big backdrop by Bones coming back around. Bones now. Bones with his, oh, Bones flexing in his face. <laughs> oh, God, he put a butt right in his face. A bony butt. As they, I call that the, uh, the, the pelvic uh, jaw job or something. <laughs> that was bad. And now taking it over the shoulders. What is this? And now picked up and got the craniotomy. He nailed him. Oh, my God, that could be it. He's no, not going for a pin. He's not, he's the one to really drill it. And now takes him, takes him across. Oh, no, but grabbed by the back of the hand, pulled down. Uh, did fighting back? I'm so, I gotta say, I'm so impressed. Like, what the hell was that? Uh, flipping. Just, I got Jared CR. Where are you, man? Come up with a name for these things. And now a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, Bones, he kicks out again. You know, I'm not, I, I don't mean to take sides here. I'm not rooting, rooting, rooting for uh, the gluteus or anything like that over Bones. But uh, you got you to gotta say, you got to be impressed by him. Whatever he's done, uh, whatever training he's gone through, it's definitely working in his favor. And now taking Bones back to the corner. Oh, what's it going to be? Grabs him. Oh, grabs him with the arm. He's going to come around with another scissor throw off the, the tightrope. Jesus, God, he's got to... Uh, he learned it, uh, at least a dozen new moves are going into this match. Or, or just never had a chance to use it before. That could be two. <laughs> and now, getting back into the corner is Bones. Bones is in a corner. He's behind the eight ball, too. In, in the corner pocket. I don't know. <laughs> now up again. And he's kind of woozy. And now he's going up. What's this going to be? It looks like another another scissor throw. Yes, it's going to be. Oh, God. Not quite on his head. Kind of kept, kind of kept rolling over and laying it on his back there. So, uh, safe for the head. <laughs> that head's been through a lot right now. And now going back into the corner. Yeah, the crowd's loving it, too. He wants, they want to see this uh, this guy coming at him. And now, up again. And what's it going to be? Kind of got to shake out the cobwebs. <laughs> Both of these guys got to be exhausted. It's a long match. But no, he doesn't get a chance to do anything. Gets kicked away by Bones. And now... You see, oh, that's Christ almighty! Oh, that suplex that right down the ropes, right down the damn, almost hit that goddamn post on that one. Sweet Jesus, he's down. He is down, folks. Oh, finally, he comes, comes to, and rolls and kicks right back up. Oh, my God, the punishment these both of these guys are taking, and they're coming up huge. They're huge for the show, the, the crowd getting their money's worth, as they always do here in the HWA. Is there any doubt, really? I don't know, but now Bone's taking up once again. And he's taking his time. He's trying to catch his breath. He gets a slap, but no kicked away by Bonesy. And Bones punching, but, but uh, getting slapped out of the way. And now the clothesline lands right on its target. Uh, so, and now Bonesy picking, picking Gluteus up again. I need another sip. Clothesline by Bones. So when you have a straw, it's easier to take a drink because you don't have to worry about splashing all over yourself. And now a stomp to the, uh, well, a stomp to the tricep, I believe. Kind of missed the target, I think. But now coming around. <laughs> dragging him on his face. It's going to get big, get that HWA pain. Oh, here it comes again. Another spinal tap. This, oh, my God, a third spinal tap this match, and that could do it. Folks, I, I, these two guys are usually considered some of your lesser wrestlers. Uh, you got your Oloko and your, your, your Fritz Von Stone. You got your Bufu. Uh, you got your Fuzz Pigman and all of them. And these, guys, these two guys are, are way down the, the ladder of esteem. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, they have won your approval. They have won your, your applause tonight just this, with this match. So, uh... Please show them some love on the site. Go ahead and uh, say comment comment about them. I know they're just video game characters and they can't really... Just, would you shut the fuck up? Quit quit killing the fantasy. The fantasy is fun. Now once again, Bones up on the... And now go try, try charging in, but Bones kicks away once again. I, I gotta say, I think Gluteus is... Oh my Christ, another one! It bounced off the bottom and came up and hit the second and third one again. <laughs> my God, how's his head still on? I have no idea right there. <laughs> one, there's two, and he kicks up. That was the most compact pin I think I've ever seen. Everybody was in the same square, uh, two square feet. <laughs> and now picked up once again. <laughs> the ref with a little more room, and now double chops coming down on the collarbone. But that's still, still still hanging tough. And now a big belly to back suplex right there. And Bones. Bones looking down. Bones, you, you got to see him huffing and puffing there. <laughs> Gluteus wants a nap. Oh, the kid got Gluteus right in, the, right in the face and busting him open. So we got some blood here. 
Oh, bleeding match. Oh, blood's always good. And now taken across the another. It's gonna be another crane. He ought to be God oh, got him again right in the bloody head. Oh, I think that's it. As valiantly as he fought, that might be it. There's one. There's two. Oh my god, he kicked that again! Gladius on fire, just hanging in there by a thread. But it's a thick, pretty thick thread. Having a real hard time cutting that. And now, oh god, that elbow drop. That was a, that reminds me of a dream I had. It's like, it's like I'm producing dental floss, and no matter how much I pull, I can't seem to get it all out. It just keeps pulling and pulling. It's a creepy fucking dream. I don't even know why I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> An insight into my psyche, I guess. Anyway, back to the match. And picked up. And go Bones once again kind of doing a, a shimmy. And go goes over. Oh, we're going outside. Oh, as if they have not enough, uh, not, not enough action inside. And Bones, <laughs> Bones after a pause, comes outside. The pause that refreshes. <laughs> By Stay Free. No, that's Coke. Sorry. <laughs> it's a very old Coke ad. And now picked up again. And picked up. And oh, pancake right on down. Oh, somebody get the maple syrup. Now picked up again. And the butter. No, not country crock. Get some real butter, goddammit. Spend, spend the extra six cents, okay? Get the real butter. <laughs> it's better for you. It's kind of. And anyway, I'll pick it up again. Oh, he did the... <laughs> it, I was announcing the last pickup. I was, that wasn't a forecast. I, I didn't see it coming. But I guess I did, because he just keeps doing it. And now punch and block. I uh, punch to the face, to the, to the mask. And he wants to go back inside. Oh, he does. And he's going to grab Bones. And inside on the, on the apron. Oh, my God. A big hook. Oh, oh, my God. A chain shot. Tomahawk chop. And a boot to boot. Now back in. Oh, my God. I don't know who's going to win this match, folks. These guys have been back and forth the whole time. And now going up the ropes here. Bones. Like, Bones coming around. Oh, what is this? Oh, picked up. And just a, a flipper, flopper, power bomb. Flipper, flopper, power bomb. I hope that's the last move so I can announce that. <laughs> so I can call it that in the next show. And now, now he's going to oh, take some over again. Another cranium going to be coming up. He oh, got that bloody head. It's just spray, spraying butt blood all over the place. And a pin. This has got to do it, folks. There's one. There's two. There's three. Bones McIntyre wins, but not easily. Oh, my God. The gluteus Maximus. You get two thumbs up from me, brother. Jesus, God, that was a, that was putting up a hell of a fight. He didn't win, but he got much closer than anyone or than uh, anyone would have expected him to. Uh, yes, I, no, I don't need. That's right, you don't need the word to. Then to which? To, uh, never mind the grammar. Never mind. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm too uh, too worn out to, to focus on that. Right there, of course, the craniotomy. Jesus, God, you see the impact of that? Just laying all head. That's all you got is head hitting that mat, and then that bones right there. We well, had the winner of this match. Where'd uh? Where would Gluteus go? I think Gluteus rolled out. It's a, it's a little, oh, nice cool floor. <laughs> Just the thing they're enjoying that. All right, so that's that match. Coming up, we got the television title match. It's going to be Spooge for his very first title defense here. Going up against Bandit, who uh, I think we talked about. Bandit, who uh, is, is, is more of a specialty match guy. This is a regular standard rule, so we're going to see what happens. But uh, with that, you want to do your pose thing there so I can move on? Thank you. <laughs> this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hershey Squirt Stadium here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, the sweetest little city in the world. If you don't count Canada's burgers, I got the Sarah's Factory and their chocolate. Oh, God, it's like sex, man. <laughs> anyway, better than sex. <laughs> I wouldn't remember, actually. Anyway, <laughs> coming down right now. Yes, just in time. Saved by the bandit. Or saved by the bulb. Yes, actually, the bandit. <laughs> it is the bandit. That's right. <laughs> That, that hip-shaking, that porn mustache, and, of course, that smelly hat and uh, boots accompanied by Joe Petito, who has uh, actually, I want to mention that we did talk to Joe, and uh, he was very surprised about the duck losing the belt. Uh, but he, he was mostly surprised that the, the duck had been cheating. He claims to uh, have no knowledge of the subject. He didn't know what the duck was doing, and he's, he's claimed complete immunity on that. So, uh, but he has decided that uh, he is gonna, he's going to try to swing around and try to make sure that uh, his wrestlers focus on following the rules and uh, wrestling with honor. And if you believe that, i got a bridge to sell. Yeah, all right. But, well, anyway, we'll see how that pans out. The Bandit will see what happened here in this exhibition match where he performs a whiff suplex on Bones McIntyre with a quick pin. But Bones, he kicked out. But, uh, and he lost. Anyway, now have a look at it. Right now, working, oh, working a Bandit, but Bandit worked his knee right into his face. And now grabbing, grabbing Bones. And Bones, oh, going for a suplex right there. And a quick pin. There's one. And it is a pin match, by the way. Something Bandit's not used to, as we said, it's an exhibition match. That's him, folks. That's the Bandit. Where's Smokey? Oh, that's Fuzz Pigman. He's not here tonight. 
Fuzz Pigman home. Fuzz Pigman is at home enjoying a nice uh, frosty brew. And now <laughs> it's the stroke. Everybody do the stroke here. Every there it is. Have you heard? <laughs> if you're in the game, then spooge is the word. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I had to sing. Now, I'm allowed to sing a little bit every show, okay? I, did, I didn't do it uh, last time. I didn't uh, do any singing at McManus. That's two shows worth of there, so I can make up for that. <laughs> People don't want me to make up for that. I know that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Pa! Anyway, let's see what the, in the television title match. Uh, he gives the cho choke slam to Maxi Pat, picking all that big ass up and slamming it down. Gets the pin and wins that television title. Have a look at it. But now, got him. Oh, he got the, got the, the claw here. He ran on his face and choke picked him slam. up. It's a choke, choke slam and he nailed him. The keys saying, yeah, you got it, buddy. You got this. Flip him over and he does. Goes for a pin. Will it be? There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. Spooge is your new uh, television title champion. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Spooge. And he says, go down on me. <laughs> this is, I think it's what he, oh, it's just emotion, but uh, we'll, we'll call it as we see it. <laughs> That's how I saw it. <laughs> there, there's your belt. No longer the ass belt, we'll notice. There's a, there's, a, there's a gentle curvature at the bottom, but it doesn't look anything like the buttocks it used to. So with that, it's, uh, it's the bandit. There he is, ready. Of course, Spooge. Wiping off his hands, <laughs> his hairy palms. That he keeps covered with those gloves. And now, oh, <laughs> just bashing each other at the middle, but Spooge comes up big. And now Spooge stomping away on, on Bandit. And the crowd booing. And that's the crowd, uh, they, they, they don't like the heels, I guess, in this organization. Keith is well established as that. <laughs> They're kind of afraid of Satanists, too. But uh, regardless, oh, picking up. Big suplex here. Whoa, coming on down. And shaking the ring. Joe, clapping away. Keys, a little cringy. <laughs> Kick it over. And Spooge, oh, God, get a big cowboy boot right in the face. He's got spurs on those things. What the fuck? You gotta you can't get let wrestle with those things. You gotta cut somebody's head off with them. And now a big, a big forearm coming in on Spooge. And a clothesline, Spooge is down. Spooge having a hard time getting his motor started. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be lubricated <laughs> with oil. Yes. I didn't. I know what you were thinking. Yes, yeah, that's kind of the direction I was going, but I didn't. <laughs> did, a, did a nice 180 there. And now <laughs> coming in. Oh, Spooge grabbing him from behind. That oh god, close there. Suplex on him right down the ropes. Almost cutting his head off. Getting that that, that, that cheese cutter move. Now with a knee coming down. That's what they call, call the cutter. Hey, forget that other move. But <laughs> that's going to do more damage than any wrestling move. And now big boots to the face and taking him right down. And now stomping away. Bandit, bandit in control right now. Stomping on the back, onto the arm. And does, uh, his spooge is flailing around. <laughs> spooge flinging every... <laughs> no, no. Oh, what is this? Oh, my Christ! Almost trying to pull his head off like a bottle cap. And now going up. Spooge. Spooge doesn't know what's going on. Bandit's up behind him. We're going to see something here. It's got a big macho elbow right to the spine. And Spooge is having some troubles here. And Case finally chimes in with the bandit. Says, hey, you're not going to take that belt home. You can't take that belt. Because you're, you're a bandit. Nobody likes you. <laughs> but uh, that's long enough. Oh, it is long enough for Spooge to get the upper hand. Just got barely long enough. He was right in there. And now Spooge picking up Bandit again. Spooge uh, going for a clothesline. The first, missed the first time. Nailed him the second time. And he's down uh, getting a kick to the ear. Good Lord, his ears are going to look like a fucking head of cauliflower. Now, we got a oh, big, another big arm lift there. Bouncing, bouncing Spooge. <laughs> Spooge's bounce. Oh, that's Bumbles. Never mind. That's <laughs> Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. And now picked up and just hung out to dry. Good Lord. That's another cheese slicer move right there. Right at the hips. <laughs> cut, cut him directly in half. And then you weigh the halves and see if they, see how close you are. It's like a carnival game. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, a, that's not a carnival. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> he cuts the, the, the eastbound and down in the pin. But Keys pops up before the pin can start. And di distracting once again. Yeah, the carnival from hell. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a hell of a game there. <laughs> they have carnivals in hell, yeah. That's, that's one of the things. Yep, that's one of the attractions. Now punching. And the end of the gut. And pushing him back. And a big clothesline right into the corner. Dra tra drapes him, traipsing him down. Traipsing? Okay. And now grinding that knee right, right into the collarbone. Uh, he's down again. No, he's gonna, he wants him back on his feet, picking him up. Having, having trouble getting his, getting his bearings. And now, oh, another big size whirly bird suplex there, rake, raking the ropes. I almost said raping the ropes. Raping the ropes. <laughs> raping, raping the Roku. Okay. That sounds like a headline in the New York, New York Times ad. The, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure New York Times would ever do anything like that. But the choke, choke slam, and the choke, choke slam, slam, that thing that he just did. And now another one. Good Lord. Back-to-back -back chodes here. 
<laughs> that was a porno. And now picked up. It's going to be slammed down once again. Another ch choke slam. And Bandit coming apart right now. Gets flipped over. Quick pin. He's down. There's one. There's two. Oh, God. Barely getting that shoulder up. Chode can't believe it. I mean, that's how we scooch. I got Chode on my mind. No, not like that. Not like that. Stop it. Stop. Be, be nice. Be nice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm just coming full circle right, right now. Not a big clothesline, but missing. And a big flying punch by Spooge. And another punch to the head flying. And he goes for a duck. And coming off. And just picked up a, a spine, a spine buster. Spine buster. Spine buster. And a pelvic thrust right there. I know I'm a little behind. It. I had to do the, the three times Chuck Ross thing. And now he's picking him up. Oh, picking him up. Good boink. Just going down for that flying power bomb. That pull away power bomb, as they call it. And now picked up once again. There's a lot of people call it, I imagine. Oh, not another one. Another cho choke slam. This could do it here. Up oh, boy, oh, he's goosing him. That slams him on down. Like that, that, he enjoyed the goose. And now another one. Another back-to-back -back here. He's really taking Bandit to town. And grabs him once again. Got him up again. And just slamming him on down. Oh, no, he reversed it. I can't believe it. Bandit reversed that. I didn't even see that happen. I got to rewind that. Can we rewind that? No, we can't. We're, we're live. And now, now picked up. And go another, another eastbound and down. And plump, he got down. And he flipped over another pin here. Kicking away, there's one. There's two. Oh, my God. He, I don't know. I don't know what kind of count that was. It uh, didn't look like he was kicking out just yet. But uh, regardless, anyway, it's, a, it's only two and a half count. A two and nine, nine hundreds, anyway. <laughs> more, more like a two and two and uh, one and a half count. <laughs> yeah, do the math. Okay. Do the math, people. Anyway, <laughs> watching teachers. Now grabbing the grab back of the head. Bandit taking him over. Bandit now. Well, bench punch. <laughs> you don't need any fancy moves for that. Just punch him right in the fucking face. Now grabbing again. And now flip. Oh, taking him over. Oh, God. He hits hard on the... <laughs> hard on. Yes, he hit hard on, hard on... He hit his hard on on the apron. Not me. He hit, hit, he hit hard on the apron. Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, God. <laughs> the filth. <laughs> just, just the pure filth here in the HWA. It's disgusting. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of it at all. But now I'm getting picked up on the outside now. And a boot to the gut. By, by Bandit. Bandit now. Literally, literally boot. And now he takes him. Where's he taking him? Oh, I'm going to pick him up and just drop him head first on the apron. Crowd going bananas here. It's fucking deafening. I know you probably on the broadcast you don't hear it that well because I turned it down to about half. But in my ears right now, this is fucking deafening by this crowd. Bandit going back in after rolling Spooge in. <laughs> Another rolling Spooge. Sounds, sounds like a... a it's like a joint or something like that. And now, oh, before you can pick him up, here comes the hammer fists and knock him away. Yeah, rolling. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go roll smooth. I'm going to smoke, smoke up. I don't know. Oh, God, a big back throw there. Oh, right into the ropes, bouncing off. And now, who, who's in control? I guess Bandit is. Jesus Christ, more, a lot of back and forth tonight. A lot of great matches here. Uh, but uh, Spooge, Spooge trying to get, Spooge eats the rope. <laughs> He's chewing on the rope, folks. And now, oh, swing and a miss. And Spooge is going to take advantage of that mistake. Flips him around. A big pipe slam. Almost a suplex drop there. Suplex slam. Suplex bomb. Well, they're just combining everything tonight. It's like peanut butter and, and uh, chocolate, you know? You got your, you got your uh, power bomb in my suplex. You got your suplex in my power bomb. <laughs> and now Joe. Oh, Joe's coming over. Well, he's thinking of coming over. Now he's got to back away. He's, he doesn't want to want to be seen as interfering in any way. But Spooge is, that's Spooge is keeping himself at bay just by showing off. That's probably not too smart. I'll grab by the head. And, oh, going to be old belly-to-belly -belly action here. But he, he takes the, he, he says, I got your nose. And now all punches. Bar bar fisticuffs outside. And now, now he picks him up. He's got him. Where's he taking him? Oh, take him to the stairs. Oh, the golf putt got off the stairs. Oh, the bandit's nose is, 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 is uh, looks like a normal-sized nose now because it's, it's bashed in a little bit. Instead of that big, huge fucking nose honker he's got. After a slam on some spooge, but I'll pick spooge back up. And his honker. His nose is a honker. Not his dick. You uh, you guys are dicks. That's a, You want to see a dick look in the mirror. Now finally rolling, <laughs> rolling spooge back in. <laughs> Don't you mute me. <laughs> That's censorship, goddammit. And now working the arm over this twist around and uh, elbow breaker. And now kicking the knees. He's going after all the joints. The, the, the joints, yes. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Spooch does not work as a joint. I thought about that and I thought about that and it just didn't work. Here it comes. Oh my God, it's had to be a paler. It just impaled him on the knees. Uh, folks, uh, there's an opportunity for him. Oh, he's not taking it. He's going up. He wants to, he wants to drive it a little more. Drive it a little harder. <laughs> he does that. And now Spooch, I think he's taking a dump on the turnbuckle. What's he, what's he waiting for? Maybe he wants Bandit on his feet. 
Well, let's take... Oh, he waits! Oh, he took it! <laughs> okay, he was waiting. He definitely had one of them on his uh, in knees before he put that move, that super elbow. And now the, the macho elbow. And now with a flip. Back and forth here, once again. And now another one. Oh, we got another. He's pounding down. Here it comes. Boing! Oh, go cut his foot. Almost cut his foot on the reps. And now Pan, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's three minutes. Won the championship. He won the tag team championship on a... On a... On a... On a, on a he's pounding down. Which he normally, he would normally do. But uh, this is the first time I think I've seen him with the championship, is it? We check the records? Now you guys do... You guys do that. Now you guys sit there on your fucking fat asses. That's what you do. And then anyway, we saw... We saw something there. And now here's oh, the choke, choke slam, of course. He had several of those on the... No, that's the one he reversed. It turned into a, a flying clothesline of some sort. And then this. Of course, he's pounding down, bonking, catching those ropes, too. Spinning them around. And was that the one? That's one. That was two. And no. Okay, that was the one. That's, I saw... That was a three and a half count there. That was not a two and a half. That was a three and a half. I don't know. Uh, might have been... I, I don't want to say the kangaroos paid off because we're running out of referees. We got no one to replace them with. But uh, yeah, I, I, I to say that was a, definitely a miscue on the on the refereeing there. But uh, regardless, Bandit won, so I guess it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Bandit, uh, Bandit's got the fucking belt. The duck is uh, well, the duck lost the belt, but he had the belt. <laughs> CR can't get a break, folks. He just can't. <laughs> when we come back. That was phlegm. When we come back, we got the El Loco versus uh, we got the El Loco versus the vivacious Vic Volger in the table match. One of those there. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more of the HWA action. Welcome back to HWA right in the teeth here. It's Hershey Squirt Stadium in High Hershey, Pennsylvania. And I am sweating like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know spring is here. Whenever you go out after work and it's 78 degrees. I know a lot of people like the hot weather. Me, I can do without it. Especially when I'm announcing because I get overheated just, just sitting around thinking. <laughs> but anyway, coming down right now is the, the loco. He, uh, don't you know he's loco? Uh, with the, uh, with the, yes, uh, the, don't uh, step to me essay. The, uh, there was uh, some Cypress Hill thing I was trying to think of. It didn't get, didn't do it. But uh, let's go ahead and see a, a replay here to take that away from me. Uh, he in the submission match, he performed the Muli Caliente on Gluteus Maximus to get the win. And now, well, up once again. Oh, here we go with the Muli Caliente. This could be a quick match if he, if he submits. And the referee taking a while to get around. There's, oh, oh, he does. He does. He gives up the Muli Caliente. Strikes again. And the local has won the submission match. And that was a clip. <laughs> once again, running out of time. Talking too much. Of course, uh, some people want to hear me talk. God knows who. <laughs> but coming down right now is Vivacious. Vic Volger. No, the... I'm taking. I'm done with the thus. The 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 the. I just spit all over myself. Jesus God! Look at my notes. They're wrinkled. For God's sake. Anyway, we saw him before. We talked too much again. Uh, let's see him in the Extreme Rules match when he gives the taint nothing to Corporal Punishment, but uh, he fails to attempt a pin there. I think that might have been his downfall. Uh, he might have had something there uh, on the Corporal if he caught him off guard. But uh, regardless, he lost that match. But uh, not before he got this move off. Have a look. I'll figure it out, goddammit. I had a week off. It takes a little rusty. It takes me time to get back. Oh, here it comes. Here comes a taint. Nothing but a thing. Plop right in the face. Oh, that taint just slamming off his nose and his chin. And a big chin. Yes, a uh, very, very egotistical person there he is. <laughs> with a with an Amish beard. What is this with that beard? They want to call him Jebediah. By <laughs> by basis, Jebediah. No, with a, uh, uh, just... just What's a good J adjective? <laughs> I don't know. You think of that. Yeah, you sit on your face. Anyway, we've done that before. Anyway, now, uh, El Loco with a, with a move there. Oh, and a big <laughs> a flying drop kick there by El Loco. And now kick to the hip. And uh, people cheering on El Loco. They, they like him out here. Vivacious Vic, a, uh, not so much every, all the time. But uh, he, well, the women seem to like him. No, they don't. He thinks the women like them. <laughs> but uh, coming out and grabbing. Oh, grabbing the mask. <laughs> Taking him for a mask throw there. And now a kick to the back, and El Loco goes over. Does he have a ponytail? Or just long hair in the back. He's got one. He's got a cow lick. He's got, he's got like an alfalfa sprout coming out the back of his head. It just kind of sticks out there. Hey, meanwhile, just getting a shit kicked out of him here. My face is thick on fire. And now more pops, and El Loco goes to the corner. And now he's grabbing. He's getting blinded him and sticking the fingers in his mask. And now it just comes crumbling down, and Vivacious Vic hit with a hail of booze coming, and now with a punch to the back, and more grabbing, and now pulling over. El Loco's on take, way taking off his game here. He's not used to table matches, but I mean, at least he knows how to fight sometimes. 
And grabbed again, but no, finally Yaloka with a kick to the gut. And now, oh, another flying drop kick. How does he do that? He get like 16 feet in the air and he just drop kicks him right in the face. A little help on that one, I think. We might, might, might lift him up a little bit, but now it's uh, a chance here. Oh, God, DDT! 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 El Loco <laughs> with a slap to the face after a B, after what was it? A DDT! That's right. And now, oh, God, double drop kick to the side of the head. And I think he's a little woozy, you know, slumped to the shoulder. Grabbing him by the by the beard, by the Amish beard, now grabbing him by the mullet and pulling it on down. <laughs> now, voice is going. <laughs> What's this going to be? What's going to be? Oh, that that uh, hip puller. Yeah, right there. You see the, the hamstring in the back? Is that the hamstring? I think it's a hamstring. Yes, a kick to the face. Now, Loco, coming back, finally. <laughs> now, punch to the back. And Vic, Vic trying to shake to us. Good, 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 give me your karate move here. Now, going off the, off the turn. <laughs> playing ring around the rosy and now taking him oh well, look who goes over and he can't hold on he goes crumbling crumbling down you, if you do if you put him through the table on the outside does that count it does it doesn't you, you don't know you don't know shit you, you know how to run the board that's like it and now ddt big flying ddt flying ddt i'm not gonna do it grab it again i picked up <laughs> And now sending him back in. Now, Loco might want to grab a table. It's kind of the rules of the match. But no, he goes back in. He still wants to pound on him a little longer. It's, it's nice to soften these guys up. You want to give the two. You don't want to grab a table and put him right through it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's the brain. It's the brain. Oh, it's brain. <laughs> oh, God. I hurt my throat. <laughs> and now he goes out. He's like, well, you can't pin, obviously. So he, he knows what he's doing. He's not the most intelligent guy. Not the brightest bulb in the chandelier. But uh, he knows what he's doing when it comes to this match. Now coming around. What do you mean he's a doctor? A doctor or what? Wrestling? He's been around long enough. I grant him that. He's got tenure. But uh, regardless, uh, we're getting beat. Oh, now we got the table up here. Table in the table in the corner. Okay, we're going we're gonna to see some action here. What's going to happen? Oh, yeah, the El Loco taking him. Oh, El Loco takes the first shot into the table. And now it's going to be, oh, double drop kick. But no, the table, the table holds tight. If that was a WWE table, they would have gone through it. Those things are like fucking paper. <laughs> it's like going through a paper towel and not even a bounty. Not the cheap ones that you buy at Dollar General. And now another table coming in. We got two tables here. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> I like it. And now oh, we got to grab him. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, it's going into the table again. Uh, this vivacious Vic. El Loco now. El Loco with a big chop. Oh, my God. Chopped him so hard his hair went through the table. And when you violate the laws of physics, that's a heavy chop. And now on the treadmill. Okay. <laughs> Comes back around. Picking him up. That's another purple sausage. I, they, they must, he must shop at the same place that Kelly Boom gets hers. And now, with a wrist breaker here, what's El Loco going to do? Oh, it's the... <laughs> it's, the it's the psychic arm throw. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? Just when you think the bugs are gone, they rear their ugly head. The bugs are never gone. They never fixed the goddamn game. They, they moved on to the next one. It was a piece of shit, and they gave up. So hopefully the, the, the new game will come out. We'll talk about, oh, coming with a double of legs and uh, getting slapped out of the air by Vivacious Vic. Mm. That's too many Vs. I'm going to just call him Vic. And now Pump Handle. Pump Handle coming out. Pump Handle lower suplex there. Beautiful move by Vic. And Vic they're following that up with showing off, as he does. And now, <laughs> what was that? I don't know, some kind of obscene gesture there to the crowd. And there was, it's not like they you know, put the, with the, in the crook of the arm and they hold it, the hand goes up. It's, it's just like one, I don't even know what that is. If, if, if anybody uh, is, is in a culture that knows what that is, uh, please let us know. Because to me, it's just, it's just a, a move. And again, <laughs> it's that move. See that move that you just saw? Yeah, that's the one we're talking about. So you got a better look at it from this angle. Anyway, grabbing a loco. There's a match going on here, I think. And now grabbing, yes, of course, all good matches tonight. They are. I just get, uh, I, 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 I focus on something. And when I try to, oh, a squirrel. No, yeah. And now, oh, stomp it away. El Loco getting pounded on again here. And now just giant fists coming down, trying to block and just land and dead haymakers right there. And now stomp on the gut. And the crowd showing their disapproval for Vivacious. Vic, and with the other side. And my punches. Oh, my God. He's going to knock him out that way. And then just pick him up and lay him on the table. And then, I don't know, drop a, a knee or something. What would he do? If, if El Loco is knocked out, it might be too difficult. Now, what is this? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, it turns into a face grip here. The face, a face grabber, and now by the oh, now he has to break free because there's no there's no ref to break it up, and then you can't even win that way anyway. <laughs> After realizing that, Vic uh, goes back to his usual antic antics here. Oh, here comes an antic for you. It's the take nothing. Oh, that take nothing, baby. <laughs> it take nothing. It take nothing. That was funnier in my head for some reason. I, 
I don't know why. Oh, well, okay. We're going we're gonna to phase through time now, and he's gonna, oh, going to set up the second table. Now we got to d- double your double, your, double mint gum here. Double your, double your pleasure with double mint tables. Or, no. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> These matches are running long tonight. I'm sweating up a storm. <laughs> I'm dehydrated, for God's sake. I'm delirious. <laughs> now, oh, El Loco. Oh, he wants to take the table out. As it goes through the mat, somehow. What's this going to be? Is he going to hit him with it? No, he just throws it down. He doesn't know what he wants to do with it. He throws it down in frustration. Oh, Vic picked up again. And Vic, oh, Vic going to the table once again and bouncing off. And it's coming in. What's it going to come in for? And it's going to be another chop slap. Oh, my Christ almighty. You hear that up here? The impact of those, those chop slaps. Or slop chaps. Sloppy chaps. Sloppy assless chaps. You guys make a joke of that. <laughs> it's halfway written. Now picked up. Ah, oh, he picked it up and slammed it through the table. And that's it. There he wins the match with a pump handle uh, suplex right there. Yeah. Mm. El loco. <laughs> I'm wearing down, guys. The fourth match that usually happens. But now, I'm, I'm trying to stick to it. I am working on it. And coming back is always to, uh, Breaking up is hard to do. Coming back is always hard to do. More ch- let it, the impact of that. Let it, you're just a, leave with a big welt across your chest. You look like a fucking crossing guard when he's done. That, that diagonal slash down. And then this. The big, oh, another chop slap. And the hair goes through the table. You saw that. that that's a powerful slap. And then oh, no, another chop slap. That's not what we're going to throw. It's chop slaps. The slop chaps. Slop chaps. Sloppy assless chaps. You can buy those at the HWA <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> your sloppy ass little chap, your official HW. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got an interruption here. It's the Steel Sultan coming in once again for more interruption. And El Loco, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He takes a chair right to the head. And another shot while he's down at the hip. And now another shot to the pit. Jesus Christ, he's just bludgeoning him with that chair, that Steel Sultan. <laughs> Vic is out of there. He did not want anything to do with this. And now picked up. Oh, big bear hug. Got bear hug suplex. Throwing him into the ropes. El Loco had to, after the battle he just did with the table fight. Now he's got to put, put up with this fucker. And just uh, stomping away with them curly pointy toed shoes. <laughs> the, the Aladdin shoes, I call. And now just Oh, just gr- punching and grinding in his face. What is he doing? That, that's me. Okay, okay, enough is enough. You had your fun. Let's get somebody down here to take care of this and just strutting around. And uh, driving a knee to the side of the head. He's just having his way with El Loco right now. Come on, guys. Where's the ref? I know the ref is, is not around for table matches. It's a, it's a given, but after that, Jesus, God, stomping, crushing. Ugh, what a beating El Loco's taking here. And now, is that, oh, he said, to own Vic. He wants, he wants more people. He said, Vic, come on back in here. I need to beat somebody. <laughs> God, the guy gets anger issues. Somebody, somebody get him into an anger management class, will you please? Anyway. Last match coming up, it's going to be good old Keys Carranza uh, t- defending his manager's championship against none other than Mr. Fugu. Hmm. I'm not sure about this, folks, but uh, stick around. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I came back quicker than I thought we would. It's uh, Welcome back to Right in the Teeth. <laughs> welcome back to a belch. Uh, you know what it is? That's, 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 that's the squirt that I drink. Yeah, it's that squirt, that grapefruit soda. Uh, speaking of, we're here at the Hershey Squirt Stadium. It's not what you think, folks. It's a, it's a combination of Hershey chocolate and squirt uh, beverage. They, they, they made a partnership. They built us. A, a you know what? You don't care. You don't care. I know. Nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. What a thing about the children. <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching The Simpsons. And that, that fucking Maud Flanders. Not Maud Flanders. Whatever. Helen Lovejoy. That's it. She's a. Oh, think of the children. Just shut the fuck up, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> It is Mr. Fugu. We did see him in an exhibition match. We saw some action from him. He was getting distracted by Aaron Varhola and uh, received a small package roll-up by the liberal lawyer. He uh, kicked out, but uh, he ended up losing that match. Have a look at it. And the crowd getting into it. And, oh, God. What do we got now? That you got to be kidding me. No, that, that, that can't be him. That's Aaron Varhola. That, 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 who the hell is that liberal lawyer? Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, there's two of them. And now I'll oh, get rolled up by surprise. And uh, there comes uh, Jimmy uh, with a count. There's one. There's two. Oh, God. Almost got to sneak up on him. That's Mr. Fugu. Oh, Fugu, very good. You go to a Chinese restaurant. You go to a restaurant. It's a Japanese restaurant. It'll be like a Shogun uh, Japanese steakhouse, right? Well, you're going gonna to get the... Uh, you're gonna get that whatever that uh, <laughs> diarrhea anyway, <laughs> diarrhea off the ass. <laughs> no pun intended. Coming down right now is, is Keys Carranza. I'm gonna say good old again. He's a good old boy. No, he's not. He's anything but. <laughs> oh, sorry. I I over salivated there. I was gonna say something. I just kind of choked on my own spit. <laughs> Isn't that pleasant? Isn't that lovely? Yes. 
So thank you, Marvin. Anyway, we saw Keys. Did we see him? We saw him. Yes, of course we. We saw him in the Manager's Championship against Joe Petito. Those two fighting hard for this uh, this belt. Uh, but Keys walked away. He took the Baphomet bomb to Joe Petito, gave him the pin, and got the win for the belt. And where's his belt? His belt isn't even on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, show the clip. We'll be, uh, check, uh, check this out. If he put, follows that up with a Baphomet bomb, this might be all she wrote. This could be it. Yeah, you got him in position. It's in the center of the ring. Up high. Grab and lift. And here he comes. Oh, oh, he crashes. And now a quick pin. This, Smart this move. This might be it. There's one. There's two. There's three. New manager champion, Keys Carranza here. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, he forgot it. Did he forget his belt? I know he's forgetful at his old age. <laughs> but, uh, okay, he didn't bring the belt down. Apparently, he's uh, very confident that he's going to keep it. He just didn't bother. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that is, folks. That's, that's, there's cocky, and then there's that. <laughs> that, is, that is off the chart. And now, ready for the bell. And Fugu. Uh, Fugu. Oh, goes for a fly, and Fugu slips right out of the way. Saw that aggression coming. Oh, no, trying to Confucius say. No, Confucius. Oh, my Jesus, God. He throws a Fugu right into the camera. You got to protect the equipment, guys. We can't, we can't afford any more cameras. We're already, we're already on life support financially as it, is, as it is anyway. And now as he's adjusting himself, Fugu grabs him, but a slap away and a boot to Fugu got. I got to say, I like Fugu's outfit here. It's much better than that moth-eaten suit that he's got. So he's finally got some wrestling attire. But now grabbing the, oh, grabbing the uh, elbow, sending the shockwave up. And keys now. He's oh, son, say, turn your head and cough. Oh, no, turn your head and get your temples stomped. How do you like that? Keys. Keys now grabbing Fugu. And Fugu with a reversal there. Showing that big shoulder. I mean, he, he is, he's, wrestling. he's got a great career wrestling, Mr. Fugu does. He's got skills. I mean, he's aged. He's definitely aged. And now with a big chop, uh, taking Keys down. So he's got, he's got some moves. I, I wouldn't, I don't rule him out just yet. All right, so he puts the stomp on Keys. And now another stomp. So, uh, in control right now. Fugu, quite a, kind of impressive, I'd say. And a kick to the back. Keys, though. Keys not looking impressive here for this belt. Maybe he should have brought it with him. I don't know. But now, oh, what's that flying headbutt? A flying flopping headbutt. Now stomping on the head. Good Lord, he wants to open Fugu up. He wants to see if his, if his brains are Kung Pao. I guess. <laughs> if his brains are Kung Pao. <laughs> I don't know. I was proud of that one. I, you, you guys may have just shaken your heads over there, but I was proud of that one. And now Keys, oh, squaring off. And Keys, what's this going to be? It's going to be, oh, God, shaking his face across the rope. A side, is a kind of a side Russian leg sweep on the face. A side Russian, uh, maybe it's a, a side Lithuanian leg sweep. I don't know, could be. I don't know. But now, oh, he's got him. Putting him in the pentagram here. This will, this will put some damage to him. Now, oh, Poland, he's struggling. And he taps. He taps on Keys. He gave up. He gave up right away, just getting shoved down by Keys. Good Lord, that was a quick match. That was like one of the damn uh, microwave matches that we saw from Fuzz Pigman. God damn, right? Keys just finishing him off with a, with a bird. Must have really locked it in right there. That's all we're going to see. Right there, you can see a good, good angle of it. I just pulling away, and, and Fugu takes it for a couple of seconds. But watch that arm go flailing. And there he goes, Pat, going through the fat. <laughs> through the fat rolls as it gets absorbed, just kind of shoving them down. But I don't know, folks. That, 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 that seemed awful quick. I mean, that seemed, that seemed quicker than it should have, honestly. But, and well, that's the end of the show. And then we're going to we'll naturally be talking about the, the developments tonight on, on the, uh, the podcast, anchor.fm slash HWA Rolls. Join us there. Subscribe. Uh, and uh, you can hear us every week. But, uh, yeah, we, we got a lot to talk about then. You're not going to want to miss that one. But uh, for now, we're going to sign away. And uh, we're going to talk about next week. Going into you know, just keeping things rolling here. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Right on into next week, which is show 60. Oh, nice, nice little landmark there. Uh, we're going to have the Extreme Rules match starting things off with Muffy Trust Fund versus Brandy Alexander. We can see Brandy in action again. She's done pretty well. Uh, Muffy, Muffy kind of a veteran. So I don't know. I don't know which, which way that one's going to go. More salivating. <laughs> uh, the exhibition match is after that between Misty Furberger and Lucy Fur. Lucy Fur, we haven't seen her in action uh, very, very much, uh, and I think she, she's anxious to hurt somebody. Uh, tag Team Championship will be after that. Stone Cold Crazy, of course, going up against the Maniacal Medics. Oh, that's going to be a good one. We're going to say that's going to put Stone Cold Crazy to the test. After that, we will have the TLC match. A TLC match? Okay, excellent. Oh, it's the guys this time. Goldfather, Big Dick Kazinia, Booger Dude, and Crow magnet oh, Quite a variety there. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of different personalities. There's going to be a lot of different pain to be bestowed on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sound like a 57 olds putting down the street. After that, of course, is the Inner Orsman Championship. It's going to be Corporal Punishment versus Mr. Q. As a, okay, he has his chance at the titles here because uh, he's, he's in the power rankings. That's right, folks. We're taking the power rankings into 
Pseudo Effect, which we should have done all along. We started six seasons ago, but anyway, regardless, uh, we're back and better than ever here on HWA, on HWARules.com. And uh, thank you for joining us. Join us for the podcast, like I say, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>